what's up guys welcome back to my channel it's goody doja as you already know from the title of this video i'm going to be telling you the truth about snake eyes piercings it's also known as the venom piercing it is located in two different areas of your tongue it could be horizontally which is the one i have in right now it's this one or the one that it goes on top of the tongue and i'm going to put images right here so you can get an idea what it looks like to be completely honest with you i remember i wanted it back in high school so we're talking about six seven years ago i guess for whatever reason i wasn't ballsy enough to do it at the time but something sometime last year just got into me and i was like i'm gonna get my tongue pierced for those who are new, welcome to my channel. I post once to twice a week, but minimum once. And yeah, it's actually one of my first videos that I uploaded. Before y'all go check it out, just know that I was so awkward at the time. I was really stoned. And yeah, I actually do get a lot of questions about this. Like, what was the pricing for it? Did it hurt? Or, and honestly, like at first I was cool with it, but now I'm to the point where it's like, do not get this piercing. Just to answer those questions, I actually paid $60 for this tongue piercing locally in the burbs where I currently stay right now. None of them, no tattoo nor jewelry shop pierces this around here. If you want to pierce this, I live in Illinois, you have to literally go downtown Chicago and find a shop that will actually pierce it for you. It wasn't painful at all. The only pain I actually felt was the following day when like my tongue was all swollen and everything, but it actually healed within three weeks, which like that was really it. I've actually had this piercing for 11 months now. I've actually had a like love hate relationship already with my piercing. Again, like this video is not to tell you or motivate y'all to get this piercing. I mean, I do want to share my experience but most of all i want to tell you the truth like the aftermath of this piercing with that being said i actually started noticing me having some trouble with it around eight months after the third week when the piercing was pretty much healed and my tongue was like not swollen anymore i noticed that the bar was very long because it needed to be at first but like i started to bite so much into the bar that i was like all right it's time to change it so i did change the bar the bar itself it was actually still affecting me sometimes like not so much when i would talk but mostly when i would eat and you know i need to eat three meals a day i'm not gonna not eat because of my jewelry this was probably at the point where i was like three to four months in now i'm like okay i'm biting it a little too much like this is not okay I ended up changing it to a way smaller bar than the one I have in right now. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna just change it into plastic. So, so I have in plastic now. Again, this may not apply to everyone. And some people are probably gonna be like, you know what? I've never had any problems with my teeth. No offense to anyone. This does not apply to you great. But like, I do get checkups regularly on my teeth. I had braces for about three years. And then I had Invisalign. I ended up cracking my Invisalign because of the, the metal. And what did I do? I basically chose this jewelry over my Invisalign. That is actually a reason why my teeth have began to shift more. Because I'm not wearing my Invisalign. And to well how can i really put on my invisalign if every time i wear it it's gonna crack because of the metal like this you can't really tell my teeth look pretty straight but if i go like this yeah and like that's super not cool you know what i mean i do love sweets you know i really enjoy my ice cream and some of my chocolates i did at one point have cavities and i had fillings long story short my piercing began to crack those fillings Damn! not cool but kind of gross i do remember eating and then like biting into my piercing like, like the little ball and feeling a crack something crack i like looked right and i felt like it was a piece but i don't think it was a piece of tooth but it was like oh the God. filling because after like a week or so it was starting to be empty like it wasn't filled anymore and i'm like you're kidding me my snake eyes piercing is really cracking my teeth and if you're not aware, your filling is supposed to basically be, be very hard. They were very hard. So like at the fact that it cracked that, I can only imagine if it's actually cracked my actual teeth. And honestly, it's been so unfortunate, but I feel like it has. And honestly, I'm not going to lose my teeth over a freaking piercing. Like, yep, I said it. I'm taking it out because it's not worth it. I had a friend when I first got a piercing, she asked me like, hey, like, how's your piercing? I'm like, oh, it's good because it was good at the time. She's like, you know, I heard that your teeth begin to to grind or cracking and breaking and i'm like oh well you know what i haven't experienced that like i'm good at the time i hadn't but now going into a year now yes i have and i know it's something that can be fixed i can always go back to the dentist and get them filled which i will yeah i could have been like removing it already but i really did want to share this and let you guys in onto my experiences and what better way than for me to show you that i actually have it rather than like oh i removed it and it's like no you didn't you don't even have it no i do if people can claim that you know you don't bite into the jewelry then no you do bite into the jewelry and if you think that it's not really happening teeth aren't chipping it's over time that it happens this didn't happen in a 
a month it happened within that year i don't want to lose my teeth and i'm not going to be the person at 30 years old with like no freaking back teeth because i decided to have some jewelry also i do want to add on that before i had this like smaller bar and the front teeth of mine i could tell that the balls have actually began to like scrape my teeth as i talk over periods of time like it's been filing it down that the ball basically rests into this little slot if you guys can imagine this i'm pretty sure it's gonna have to be a filling there and then after that i'm just like going to have to continue to take care of my teeth that's why i highly want to recommend for you all to take in consideration the consequences that can happen with your teeth and if you still refuse and you still want to go with it just like i did at first although i had heard stories and everything i would only recommend to have this piercing temporarily like six eight months no longer than that and also too like i noticed that when i speak i actually begin to have a lisp and sometimes I, I can't pronounce the word all the way and it's actually funny because like when i'm actually making these videos and like i go back i'm like i didn't even pronounce that all the way or i didn't even finish the sentence so yeah like i said i'm actually going to be removing it No more snake eyes for goody doja. This chapter has been closed. <laughs> oh, does this feel different? I'm like, what the? This literally wraps up this video. If you are new, do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Turn on that bell right next to it to get notified every time I post new videos. And with that being said, as always, I'll see you in my next video. Peace.